Hello and welcome to Ketterk Farms. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Unit Convert Light Mod by Thundar Modding, which enables us to change the units that are displayed in game from liters in European tons to bushels, gallons, pounds, etc. Really, whatever unit you want. Before we get started, I just want to give a huge thank you to Thundar for also allowing me to post a link to the Unit Convert Light Mod in the description of this video. I know a lot of viewers have been asking me where they can get the mod, and I'm happy to report that the answer is in the description of this video. I also want to give a shout out to Permas Modding for putting me in contact with Thundar and making this video possible. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So let's take a more detailed look at how Unit Convert works and what elements of the display it changes. First, we're going to hop into this semi where I've already loaded up uh, both hoppers with corn. And so you can see in the lower right hand corner of my screen that it is displaying uh, this in bushels. And so this trailer holds 1,702 bushels of corn. Uh, and so this is the first area of the UI that gets changed. The other uh, primary area is if we hop into the uh, commodity prices tab here and we can see that it's displaying all of the grain that we hold in our silos which in this case is none um, but you can see that it's in bushels as well as the capacity of our other silos you can also see that the prices have changed to reflect um, the difference in units that are being measured here and so as opposed to prices you might be used to now you can see that the price for corn right now at the ranch is $26.65 per bushel of corn. And so this is uh, really handy and helps you kind of shift to looking at all of your units in something that's a little bit more familiar, uh, especially as a U.S.-based player. And we'll look at how you can set up different types of uh, units uh, in the second half of this video. The other thing that I want to show off is if we hop into this other tractor, you'll notice that I have ton, um, a load of chaff here and it's listed in tons. Now, this is uh, US short tons right now is what they're called. Um, there's also, uh, by default in the mod, there's some long tons, which would be more for UK based uh, players. Uh, but a lot of times different materials, you may also want to measure instead of in tons, you might want to measure those in pounds. And so Unit Convert Light has the ability to push left shift T. And in um, your fill type groups, you can set up that there's another display available for um, certain fill type groups. In this case, this is the fill type group other, where things like chaff and wood chips and silage and grass and all of those miscellaneous things, fertilizer and lime, all of those things show up in the other uh, group. And so a lot of times, you know, if this was a bunch of seed or maybe, you know, something like that, I might want to see it in pounds instead of tons. And so I have the ability to push left shift T and shift back and forth between tons and pounds. The last thing that I want to show off actually doesn't have much to do with units, but it is a feature of the mod. And so we're going to jump up here into a combine that I have sitting up in the field. And um, if you look in the lower right hand corner um, down below the speedometer, you'll see that there's a 00.0, .0 hour um, engine clock for this vehicle. And so this is part of the base game. Um, but I'm pointing that out because if I push left shift one, I can shift that to show the work area uh, that I've worked uh, so far I believe in this field, in this vehicle, uh, since it was last reset. And so um, you can see that I've combined a little bit of this field already. So that's 0.3 acres, this one path down. And if I just start going down the line here, you'll see that that number starts going up as I work this field. And so this is pretty handy uh, in that, you know, it, you always want to know how far have I gone in this field. And if you look at the map, I know that, you know, this field has a 25.56 acres. If you have the additional field info mod on, you can see, you know, more detailed how many acres are for the field versus the whole parcel. 
And so you can actually, you know, at a quick glance, know how much of the field you've actually done uh, and, you know, kind of have an idea of how much you have left. So it's always kind of hard to, you know, look at the map and be like, eh, am I about halfway or not? So I really like this uh, little feature. It's something I didn't know about until I started looking in more closely at the mod for the purposes of this tutorial. If you want to reset that counter, you can push left shift two and it'll reset back to zero and start counting again. And so um, super handy, uh, basic little area calculator for how much you've worked. Uh, I believe it works in uh, any standard uh, field work type vehicle. So you should be able to use it with your plows, your planters, etc. I haven't actually tried it in anything but a combine, uh, but I, I expect that it should work just fine. You'll also notice as I'm harvesting here that it's showing uh, the amount of bushels per acre I'm getting as opposed to um, you know, other calculations that change, you know, the mod is changing everywhere that liters and bushels, uh, liters show up and changing those to bushels everywhere within the game, which is super helpful. So with that, uh, let's jump out and look at the XML files uh, associated with this mod and how to do some of the um, different configuration for the different units in the game. So back out in Windows here, there's two files that I want to show off. The first is if we find, this is my mods directory uh, for my tutorial uh, setup here. So if we find the unit convert light mod and actually open that up, inside there's a config.xml file. I've already got that open here in Notepad++, which is my preferred um, editing uh, tool for XML files. And um, the reason I'm showing this file off is not because there's anything in here that you would need to change, but this is where all the defaults are defined for um, the mod uh, when, it, when you start it up for the first time. And in here is also uh, a very detailed description of exactly how uh, the mod works behind the scenes and does all of the conversions from liters into uh, US bushels, UK bushels, gallons, tons, pounds, etc. And then also uh, how uh, those units are then applied to the different elements of the game. And essentially there's three categories that get used, which is uh, grain, liquid, and other. And in the grain, liquid, and other, um, we're able to set uh, the type of unit that we want to use uh, depending on um, what's being displayed. And if I look at the other category here, this is what I was showing off in the uh, earlier part of the video where I was able to push left shift T and switch between what is defined as vehicle one and vehicle two unit. And so for the other category, this is going to include things like uh, silage and chaff and a lot of other miscellaneous items. I'm able to show it neither tons or pounds and toggle between them. And so you can do that for other items too. Um, so if you consistently switch between a US based map and a UK based map, you could put the bushel US here and the bushel UK there and toggle back and forth between there uh, in game. Or, you know, there's a bunch of other ways that you might want to use this. Um, and so that's what those are for. Um, but really, this is just the explanation of what each of these sections and all of the properties do. What we're going to do now is um, actually hop into our uh, config file that we can make changes to for ourselves. And so if I pop open, this is my documents uh, farming simulator, which is where all my saved games are stored. The first time that I launched uh, um, the game with the unit convert light mod enabled, it created this uclight.xml file. And so if we open that file up in the text editor here, you'll see this is you know, what it looks like um, after it's been set up. And it has all of these units already defined. And so you could add new units in here if you wanted to match up with your particular locale. And you just need to refer back to this config.xml and all of the detailed instructions on how that works in order to figure out what your factor 
uh, would be, which is essentially how you convert it from the base game leaders into whatever unit you have. For most users, like myself, you're not even going to need to worry about uh, how all that math works. Uh, really, you know, especially if you're a US-based player like me, it's already been defined. And so you're looking to just make sure that this fill type groups section is set up to have the units that you want to see in here. Um, by default, it should look like this, which is bushel US, bushel US, pound. It, it should be configured for a US-based player by default. The only other really important thing that I wanted to show off in this file is if you look here, it has all of the different uh, fill types outlined uh, that are in the base game. This comes by default. Uh, and they're assigned to the appropriate categories, but I've added three additional fill types to support uh, features and maps that I play on commonly. And so if you've played on Medicine Creek as an example, it has the grain dryers uh, built into it that use the global company uh, grain drying mechanic, and it converts uh, normal corn or wet corn into dry corn. Um, and so in this case, that fill type is called dry maize, and so I came in here and I added a dry maize fill type and I put it into the grain uh, group because I wanted it to pick up and display using the uh, bushels uh, that I've got set up up here. A lot of maps that I play with also have uh, propane set up on them uh, for uh, putting into the dryer so you can actually truck a, a, a tanker with propane in it and deliver it to... Um, some storage that you have on your farm to be used with the dryer. And then also uh, anhydrous is something that I use on quite a few of my maps. And um, so here I've been able to mark that as a liquid and have it show up using gallons instead of uh, liters. And so if you're playing with a map that has a custom fill type and you want that to be recognized by unit convert, you're just going to need to come in here and add a line for whatever that fill type is called in your map. And it should be able to pick that up and apply it to the appropriate group uh, very easily. And so with that, if you have additional questions or things that I didn't cover or something that's not working after you watch this tutorial, please leave a comment below. Uh, I do my best to respond to every comment. And uh, if you have found this video to be helpful, again, please uh, leave a like uh, and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. That's all for today. Kedrick, out.